we're being asked to determine whether this sequence converges or diverges. So to do this, uh, basically we just have to take the limit. If we get a number as an answer, then we say the sequence converges. If we don't get a number, then we say the sequence diverges. So let's start by simplifying these factorials. That's actually the hardest part of the problem. So let's see, 2n minus 1 factorial over 2n plus 1 factorial. So let's leave the top part um, the same. So 2n minus 1 factorial. And on the bottom, let's just use the definition of factorial. So recall that n factorial, how you do it is you just write down n, and then you just keep subtracting 1. So it's n minus 1, and then n minus 2, dot, 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 3, 2, 1. Right? You just keep subtracting over and over again. So in this case here, it would be 2n plus 1. And then you subtract 1. So when you subtract a number, when you subtract 1 from 2n plus 1, you just get 2n. And then you do it again, and then you get 2n minus 1, 2n minus 2, 2n minus 3. So I'll write it just so you see it. 3, 2, 1. The thing is, though, this, this, this here, right here, this here, is the same thing as this here, right? 2n minus 1 factorial is 2n minus 1, and the next one is 2n minus 2, I didn't write it, etc. So all of this goes away. So we're just left with 1 over 2n plus 1 times 2n. That's what we're left with. And so you see that when n gets really, really big, this fraction gets smaller because the n is getting bigger on the bottom. So this approaches 0 as n approaches infinity. So 0 would be the limit of the sequence. And because we got a limit, because we got a number, the answer to the question would be converges. I hope this video has been helpful.